What an incredible experience uh, this workshop at the University of Alaska this week has been for me professionally. One of the advantages of being a professor emeritus is you get to spend more time visiting other institutions, looking at what they're doing, and gives you more time to reflect. And it's particularly great to be able to have this time to reflect on the time that I spent here with the university. The work that they're doing with ePortfolios is stunning. Uh, ePortfolios have been around for a while. There's lots of different ways of implementing them. There's no right or wrong way. I think if you're going to have a strong portfolio community with folio thinking, you really have to empower the students and the faculty to really find what works best for them. And that's what I found so exciting about the workshops that I attended here and the groups that I got to see working on their ePortfolios, I guess eWoof, the uh, ePortfolio uh, uh, name here at the University of Alaska at Anchorage. Um, there were a number of things that really stood out. One was uh, the breadth and depth of the experiences of the faculty members that decided to participate in the workshop. Many times you'll find uh, you know, new or junior faculty or sometime mid-career faculty, but even sometimes more senior faculty, but you usually don't get a strong mix of all faculty. And at the workshops, I was really impressed that there really were faculty who had just joined the campus recently and faculty who had been here for 30 years, all wanting to explore how ePortfolios can help them professionally and help their students reach their educational goals. But it wasn't only the university faculty and their students that we were talking about. The group has reached out to the local community uh, particularly a K-12 school. So it's really fun to see the K-12 and higher education interaction and the cross-fertilization. So you have uh, faculty who are parents of children in the school whose students are doing the e-portfolios. We have the teacher education program. We have the dean within the uh, workshop. So we really see um, the sort of lifelong learning model, the uh, using the portfolio to document learning uh, over time. Uh, at the K-12 school we were seeing first graders all the way to high schoolers and for, for me I think it will be exciting to see what it's like when some of those students who have been using portfolios through their K-12 career come to the university and what it will be doing with portfolios in the years that it takes for those students to eventually work their way onto the campus. I think the other sort of reflection that I have is that Alaska is just an amazing state. Um, you know, being from California, which uh, sometimes people think of a, a mindset of all their own. Um, you know, different regions of the country, different campuses from research institutions to community colleges, all have a slightly different uh, flavor. But what I saw here at the University of Alaska is really a community, a uh, community built around uh, supporting each other and supporting the students. So this was a great experience for me and as typically when I go to these events I learn much more than I was able to share and I'm thankful for everyone who participated in the workshop, for the whole team and particularly Paul Wasco, a, a longtime ePortfolio friend and uh, professional uh, in every way and what he's doing here in helping spearhead the electronic portfolio uh, community. But uh, I don't know the names of everyone else. I know Paul, but there were so many uh, faculty, uh, faculty mentors, students who were working with the project, and various community members that really made this um, experience of the workshops here at the University of Alaska and the ePortfolio initiatives that they're doing. A uh, thrill for me to be a part of and something I'm going to want to follow as it moves along so I can keep track of what they're doing here and hopefully share it with 
others as I go around talking about electronic portfolios.